Hello everyone and welcome to InfoLingo, a spin-on Duolingo that not only tries to optimize how to learn a new language, but also what to learn in a new language. And more specifically, let's say you're interested in learning about watching a specific movie show or reading a specific book in your foreign language. What is the vocabulary that you should learn to optimize your understanding of that particular source or particular text that you want to understand. And that is precisely what InfoLingo does. So for example, if I want to learn about the platypus in English, for example, I might just paste this into this text box here. And then we can use information theory to try and select the words that decrease our uncertainty about this text the most. So for example, if I choose this entropy method and I say I want to learn maybe two, 10 new um, words, if we get the vocab here, we can see that using information theory, these 10 words seem to decrease our uncertainty about this text the most. So these are probably the words that give you the most bang for your buck if you need to learn some words from this text. And we can actually compare it to different methods, like for example, just pricking the most frequent word. And in this case, if we do that, we can see that the, of, and then platypus comes up, but we can get more specific words using the entropy method. Now you might be wondering, how does this actually work? Well, we actually use a variation of the guess an animal game. But instead of asking what is the best question to ask, we just ask what is the best word to learn to maximize um, our understanding of the text. So here we just take the regular surprise formula and then expand it like this. And what's key here is that I'm actually using two different probability distributions and not the same one when cal calculating the uncertainty because this Q, this is the probability distribution of the word appearing in the text. So for example, in a text about platypuses, a platypus or platypi, I don't know the plural, but for a platypus, that word is gonna be quite often recurring in that text. So we wanna weigh it by the probability in the text. But we also want to find a surprise of seeing that word. I mean, platypus is not that common of a word. So we probably want to weigh it relative to all the English um, words. And this is why we use a corpus instead of just the text. So we can say that, hey, platypus is quite an uncommon word, so we should probably be more surprised to find and see this word rather than a normal word like tree or house. But now you might be wondering, is this method actually any better? Like, can we put numbers on this? And for evaluating InfoLingo, I actually use question and answering machine learning models and just have them answer a bunch of factual questions about texts. But here's the catch. We actually begin by removing all the words in the text. And then we just start adding back words. So for example, here, we can see that most of the words are actually masked out. So the model is not having access to these words when it tries to answer the question. And this is kind of simulating that the model doesn't know what these words are. But then we can use these different methods to add back more of the words, kind of simulating that we're learning these words. And then we can see, depending on which words we choose to learn first, do we actually get better at answering questions earlier using the entropy method rather than the random or most frequent method? And when we do this comparison on a thousand questions from a squad data set, we can see these results that the entropy or InfoLingo approach, together with the KL divergence approach, actually outperform our random and frequent baselines. And we do so across all the different unmasking of the texts. And now, as long as you have a corpus, you can actually extend this to any language. So that was a short introduction to InfoLingo. Thank you for watching. And if you want to learn more, you can just read the full paper. And with that, have a great rest of your day.